Hi, I'm Elkhan Pearl, and I'm in Rough Glens this year. Uh, this week, we see we're celebrating the festi Festival of Lights, uh, but not just for us Jews. As we look around in America, we see not only our menorahs on the streets, but we see the lights from the trees of the non Jews as well. And it's very easy to think to ourselves, you know, we're not so different, and we sort of get sucked into their culture, and even though it's another religion, uh, we still do it, which is wrong. So aside from the fact that our lighting is a mitzvah from Hashem, and theirs is just uh, decorative and festive, what is so different and special about our lights that they don't have? So we light with a nair, which is a fire, uh, which is something, whereas they just put up lights. Uh, we see that every time, uh, whenever a fire is lit, not only, uh, no matter how you hold it, it will always point up, which is a message to us that at all times we should uh, recognize that show and look up, no matter what's happening. We also know that it's preferable to light with oil. Oil is a very special uh, substance that when mixed with anything else, not only will it not mix, but it will rise above it. Every year, uh, Parshat Miketz is Shabbos Hanukkah, and this connection is now very clear to me through this concept of the oil. Parshat Miketz is about Yosef's rise to power in Egypt, despite the culture around him and being the only Jew there, not only doesn't he assimilate, but he rises above it, and he also uh, has a positive impact on everyone else. After he interprets Paro's dreams for him, and Paro makes him second in command, uh, the Torah tells us, Vayomer Paro Yosef, acharei hodia okim oscha eskozos in avon v'acham kamocha, uh, and Paro says to Yosef, since God has informed you of all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as him. We see that Paro was, uh, Yosef was even able to impact someone such as Paro, and no matter uh, his surrounding. And this is, uh, this, assimilate, this concept that Yosef didn't assimilate is just like the oil. And that's really what Hanukkah is about. Not that we found the oil, but that it miraculously lasted eight days. Uh, just like Yosef didn't assimilate Egypt, uh, we too, uh, you know, with the oil, and we're celebrating that. But how are we celebrating? Because it seems as if our only mitzvah is to light the menorah. The real answer to this is that we don't need any special mitzvahs for uh, Hanukkah. By doing our mitzvahs that Hashem gave us, the everyday ones that are very easy to do, we're showing that we refuse to assimilate to the Greeks, which is really what we're celebrating in Hanukkah. This is also why we light a ner. Uh, we have a passage that says, ner mitzvah the Torah bar. So we, uh, we realize that through lighting uh, this ner, it should show us all the other mitzvahs that Hashem has for us. This year is also very special for me because, as I mentioned before, I'm used to seeing all the lights on the trees, whereas now I just get to see the fires of our menorahs. So, fire also is better than any light because not only does it provide light, but also has more uses. Uh, it can, for example, be used for cooking or to provide warmth. We also see that fire can be passed along one to another. Uh, like when we light our candles, we take the shamish, and we light, which is a fire, and we light the others. So may we all strive not only to be the light, but to be the fire, uh, and to spread our fire among everyone else, to really uh, take the deeper concept behind that oil, and to really have pride and do every single one of our mitzvahs this Hanukkah with pride.